Hi, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. Okay, my name is Andrea Smead. So, I just want to let you know, I have to record this video. And at any time that you're feeling nervous or you feel uncomfortable, just let me know, okay? Okay. So, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate techniques and skills that I have learned in my counseling class. So, what would you like to talk about today? Um, I would like to talk about depression that I'm feeling with my marriage. I feel like it's going downhill. Okay, so I hear you saying you want to talk about depression and you feel like your marriage is going downhill. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Um, Ever since um, about a couple of months ago, me and my husband been arguing more. And the more we argue, the depressed I feel. It just feels like some days are good, some days are bad. And then some days I just don't feel like going to work. I see, I see. So you're saying that you feel bad. Due to the arguments you've been having with your husband is making you feel depressed mm -hmm. where you don't want to go to work. How does that make you feel like as far as being depressed? I know you say you don't want to go to work. Is it affecting anything else? Maybe it affects my work, household, me dealing with the kids. It's just a constant sadness. Okay. How do you, how do you feel like about that? You feeling sadness? How do that make you feel? Do you feel not worthy as a woman? Like, tell me more about... Um, you can say that the not worthy part. Okay. Because we've been together for maybe five and married seven years. And mm -hmm. just to have this big, rocky path, it, it hurts a whole lot. Yes, I see. I see. I see how that can hurt. And I see how that can, you know, you said that it may, you've been together for a long time. Mm -hmm. and that how it can make you feel depressed. Have you ever tried just sitting down and just talking with him about them issues and how it makes you feel? I tried that, but he's not listening at all. He says that I'm nagging. Hmm. So he says that you're nagging. Okay. So he's not willing to come to any type of compromise when you're, you're trying to say, hey, I'm not nagging, but what, let's get to the root of the issue. No, he's not. No. Okay. So how how do that? What do you see yourself going from that? Going from there? Lost. Okay. Don't know which way to go. Don't know who to call out for help. Mm -hmm. it just hurts real bad. Okay. So I hear you saying lost. Don't know where to go. Don't know who to reach out to. And. I suppose that make you feel bad, you know, make you feel maybe low self-esteem. Yeah, it's, it's starting to attack my self-esteem, make me feel less of a person. So, like, where do you go from here? Like, is it going to, like, push back from him? It's a whole lot of pushback because, like I said, you don't want to hear what I have to say. Uh, he say I'm constantly nagging, so basically I have to keep everything inside. Okay, okay. What keeps you going? I mean, every day. Because, you know, we have our everyday life. We have to work. You know, um, you in school. You're working on your master's. So, congratulations for that. You. you know, you're trying to juggle that life-work balance situation. And I can relate because I'm in the same situation. You know, juggling the family, juggling the kids, juggling school, work full-time. You know, how do that make you feel? What what gives you that push to keep striving? My spiritual life. Mm -hmm. I pray. Um, mm -hmm. I do my devotions when I read my Bible. Mm -hmm. That's what gives me the strength. Mm -hmm. So here you saying you do your devotions, you pray, and you read your Bible. Mm -hmm. And, and that's I also, what. Mm -hmm. And okay. I also draw my Okay, so you fine. Okay, okay. So let's just sit on that for a moment. Okay, and let's just sit. Okay. How are you feeling now? What you talking about? What's been going on? No, knowing that what I said to you and you're hearing it, it makes me feel better because now I know someone is listening to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And going forward, what would you continue to do to make to keep you, you know, in that positive mind state? The only thing I can do is continue to do is keep praying, journaling, and doing my devotion and praying that a change will come. Mm -hmm. So praying and, you know, hoping that a change will come. 
And have you ever thought about what if, you know, the change, he does, he's not willing to change or not willing to reconcile? I have thought about that. It's kind of, it makes me nervous and mm-hmm. anxious on the inside if it doesn't work out. Mm-hmm. But I, if it doesn't work out, I just have to keep moving. I want it to work out, but, you know, everybody has free will, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you been doing, like, daily homework? Because, you know, important part of therapy, you know, therapists give homework. And mm-hmm. sometimes it can just be a pamphlet, you know, a template to just, you know, read and do homework on different um you know i know you said something you know you you christian based you mm-hmm. know your values would that be something that you're interested in yes mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. okay okay so that's what we'll do okay is there anything else that you know is, is is going on or anything else that you wish to talk about or um you know trying to fix because are you willing to fix the marriage, you know, at this point? I'm willing to fix it. Or to even look at the positives, you know, the magic of the positive, outrage the, the bad. Yes, I am. Okay. I'm willing. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming in and talking with me. And is there any questions, you know, you need from me? No. Okay. So I'm just going to do a recap of what okay. we talked about. So you came in today, you know, you talk about feeling a low self-esteem as far as, you know, feeling depressed. Because your marriage, you mm-hmm. know, your husband is not willing to talk to you. You know, he's saying you're nagging. Um, it made you feel depressed to the point where you don't want to go to work. You know, you feel as if you can't do your daily functions. And what's been keeping you sane is reading your scriptures, your devotions, praying, and so forth. Would that be accurate? Yes. Okay. But thank you so much, and we'll pick up from where we left off, okay? All right. Thank yeah, you. Have a good day. You too.